so we are going to start digital electronics so digital electronics basically comes from the word digit okay so just give me one minute i'll open the door and come back sorry so generally we have two type of signals uh so signals can be classified signals okay as analog and digital एनालॉग का मतलब क्या होता है एनालॉग मीन्स कंटिन्यूस सिग्नल ओके कंटिन्यूस और द एनालॉग वर्ड कम्स फ्रॉम द सिग्नल एज वी रिसीव इट ओके और एनालॉग एनालॉग टू नेचर सो द जनरली द सिग्नल्स वी गेट फ्रॉम द नेचर दे आर इन कंटिन्यूस इन नेचर कंटिन्यूस ओके लाइक टेम्परेचर इज वेरिंग कंटिन्यूसली प्रेशर इज वेरिंग कंटिन्यूसली सो हियर इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सो हियर सिग्नल जनरली मीन्स electrical current and voltage signals so so this is your continuous signals continuous okay and digital means this comes word from digit so these are the discrete signals discrete signals and these are your continuous signals okay now nowadays whatever communications happens this happens digitally okay because digital communication has certain advantages over analog uh, communications like they are more efficient okay they are cost effective there is less noise so generally we prefer uh, digital uh, communication compared to the analog uh, analog uh, communication so so i will tell you how basically a analog signal is converted to the digital signals for communication purpose so for example you have a signal okay it can be temperature anything okay let us say this is my amplitude and this is my time scale this is my time t and my signal is something like this okay so this is a example of a continuous signal where you have time scale is continuous your amplitude is also continuous everything is varying uh, continuously now this has a lot of information there are a lot of datas okay this scale can be in microsecond second picosecond and there is amplitude so each point you have a uh, some value of amplitude okay so this is a too much information generally we don't uh, process the information Uh, in this manner so what we do we make this mix we reduce this data okay so how to reduce this data or uh, make it simpler so for that what we do we do the sampling sampling ka matlab kya hota hai you do discretization of x axis now suppose i have time so now i will not take data at each point i will only do uh, uh, data At at in specific intervals, so I will divide my x-axis in equal intervals. So these are all equal intervals. So I have a signal, okay, which is continuous in time and. continuous in amplitude now the first step if i want to process this data either analogically or we have i want to make a digital transfer i have to convert i have to make sampling okay so i have to pass this data to a sampler Okay, and this process is called sampling. 
now i have divided this time scale in small small intervals okay now my, but still my amplitude is still continuous okay now i want to reduce my data of amplitude also i don't want each value of amplitude so now what i'll do i'll divide this i'll divide this amplitude amplitude also in equal intervals now now this process is called when i when i when i am my, my, I first I have made sampling. Okay. Now for the data, what I'll get here, I'll put this data into a quantizer. Quantizer. And this pro process is called quantization. Once I pass this data from quantizer, now whatever signal or data I will get, this data will be the yeah, data is discrete in time. Data is discrete in time, but continuous, continuous in amplitude. Okay. After passing the quantizer, now data they are discrete, discrete in time, and discrete in amplitude. Now, how to discrete in amplitude? Suppose now I have these data in this interval. So what value should I take of data? Okay. For example, now if my data are above the middle of this data, then I'll say my data value is this one, this is some specific value, or I will take zero. Similarly, if for this data, if any data which is the middle of middle of this one. Take, will be taken by this value, say this value is A, A not A1, any value, amplitude value, say amplitude to 5, 6, 7. Any value, any data which is which is less than the middle of this line will be taken A0. Any data which is above this A, this middle line will be taken A0. Similarly, any data which is above the middle of this, this section will be taken A0, other will be taken 0. Now, I have datas, okay, these datas. Now what I can do now, this is the continuous signal. I can convert this continuous signal in a discrete signal. Let us, let us understand how now this is my signal and this is my transport signal transformed signal. Okay. Now for, for this part of this interval, I'll say my value is say half of the half is zero and half is a, a naught. Now my signal will become like this again some other interval my value is this for next interval my value is this for next interval my value is this okay and this value can also come for some other interval my value is like this constant values for given interval okay we'll take constant values now this is my original signal after doing sampling and quantization i have converted this continuous signal into the discrete signal now still it is not digital. Okay. Now suppose now I have a fixed the level. Now I don't have a every value of amplitude. I have only fixed levels. Any any data will come. Okay. This data will come under this fixed level. Now suppose this is a five, six, seven, eight, nine. Any any value can be there. Now once suppose this is a nine. This is a, some some value twelve. Now what I'll do all these constant levels. I will convert to in digital form, say in binary. So suppose I want to write binary. So binary means one zero one. We'll see that what how to convert decimal into binary. Suppose this value is nine and binary this nine is written like this. That means high, low, low, high. Okay. So for given interval, my value is high. Then I have a low, low, or you can say this is value this. Okay. Some value. What is this? We can. 1 0 0 is 8 okay 9 some some value is there so 1 then 0 then 1 and then 1 or you can 2 times 0 also if you want to keep on 2 times 0 then for long interval it will be 0 0 and this will be 1 so now each output will be converted 
in the digital form, either in binary, hexadecimal, octal. So <clears throat> now this uh, raw data is this is my raw data. Okay, this will first we will make it discretize, and after discretizing, I will convert. I will I will again do encoding in the digital form, and now this data is processed. Okay, so the information you are receiving, like now I can I am speaking. You you can hear me. Okay, and you can I you can view. I I am visible to you. So this all information is coming to you at in digital format. Okay, with minimum noise. So. So that's that's the whole process. Okay, any data before uh, uh, you communicate, you have to process it. Okay, so this is this is this is this data is this kind of data is used in your communication. Okay, but we don't have to study the digital communication or analog communication. Our purpose is to understand because all this process done by some digital circuits. Okay, digital circuits. So, what are the basic element of those digital circuits, and how the those circuits are designed? That everything comes in your digital electronics part. Okay. So we have we our syllabus is digital electronics, not the communication. This is just for in, information. I have given you the rough idea. Uh, <clears throat> what is digital? Uh, why why we are reading the why studying the digital electronics? Okay. So I hope you have understood this one. Can I continue further? If you need any question, you can ask me. Okay. So if no question, <coughs> let me start our syllabus. So if you talk about the uh, digital electronics, beach beach mein bolte na, ho sakta voice chali jaye, so okay. So I should know that everything is going perfectly. So let us talk about the syllabus. So in the syllabus, first we'll understand number system. Okay. Then after the number system, we'll go to the Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra is also called the mathematics of logic circuits. Okay, that's why it is also called logic algebra also. And then we will learn logic gates. Logic gates. Okay, once we cover logic gates. Okay, then any you want to design a digital circuit for a particular purpose huh? Aapko koi aim hai, you want to design some logic now while commercial purpose whenever you want to design a logic you should uh, it should be cost effective okay then you have to minimize that digital circuits the component which you are going to use that should be min they should you should, should use that minimal com minimal com components okay so that is called minimization so so the next aim will be how to minimize it, how to minimize it or minimize or design a logic circuit. Okay. So design and minimization of logic circuit. Now minimization can be done two way. First, you will learn the Boolean algebra law, okay? Using Boolean algebra laws. This is the first thing, okay? We'll use Boolean algebra, what we'll learn. And second thing is K map technique. Second is called K map technique. And in order to use K map technique, any logic anything which you want to design any any sentence or any or any 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 your purpose your purpose okay you want to add you want to subtract or any anything you want to do okay so for that whatever boolean expression is is uh, is provided to you okay you have to you need to convert in a standard form so before we learn the kmap technique this is a simpler technique you can minimize any boolean expression using boolean laws but that sometime may be time consuming. 
So this is the faster technique. Using this technique, you can simplify the expressions very easily. So before you use KMAP technique, your Boolean expression should be in a standard form. Okay, Boolean expression should be in a standard form. Okay, and there are two forms. One is called SOP. What is SOP? Tell me. Anyone knows? What is SOP? Standard sum of product. Sum of product. You have to write your Boolean expression in a standard form. Oh, second is called POS. Standard product of sums. Product of sum. Product of sum. Okay. So basically it's a sum of product. Okay. But we have to write in a standard form. Similarly, this is the POS product of sum. But we have to again write in a standard form. And what is this standard form we learn throughout the courses? Okay. Once we know how to design and minimize a circuit, okay, then our next time is to actually perform the whatever we have learned so far. So that is comes under the combinational circuit. We have to design the circuit. Combinational circuit for different purpose. So digital circuits are two type. One is called combinational circuits, which do not have a memory. Okay, so example of combinational circuit is you want to add, you want to make adder, subtractor, you want multiplexer, you want to make say decoder, which will decode, decode any function, decode, you want encoder. So these all are example of combinational circuit. And the last part of this syllabus is your say six part, six part is sequential circuits. So everything what we are doing here to learn combinational circuits and sequential circuits. Circuits. So sequential circuits what is the meaning of this one? These circuit have a memory, okay? And the memory element, kya hota hai? memory element is flip flop, okay? So flip flop is the essential part of the sequential circuit. And using flip flop will make different kind of devices like counter, counters, registers, this all the things we'll discuss. This is your whole syllabus. And now we are going to learn these things by one by one. Okay. Now, if you want, ask me the book. Okay. So add switch, you don't require any book for this course because my class notes and the coaching material provided to you will be sufficient. Okay. But still you want to buy something. Okay. Then you can purchase a digital log dig the book name digital logic design by Morris Mano M Morris Mano okay but my books will be sufficient and we'll do sufficient number of question in the class itself okay so that you may not require, you have a lot of previous problems. So the syllabus is very easy. One thing you have to keep in mind, the syllabus is very easy, Asan subject. Hai. You can digest it, digest it very, very easily. Okay. And uh, it requires a lot of very less effort. Once you learn the subject, okay. And the questions come, the questions from this part is coming in, in every exam. Okay. Whether you are appearing for GEM, GATE, JEST, TFIR or any, any competitive exam, the questions from digital electronics will be two or three questions will be there. And generally question which comes from this part are the easy. Okay. So you should uh, keep this in mind. Okay. And because the time requirement for to command on this subject. Okay. I told you it's easy to digest. You can control very easily this, this labors. So it requires also very less effort. Okay. So uh, let us start now our syllabus. The first topic is number system. 
so if any question out of syllabus you can ask me okay so mainly our our purpose is to do combinational circuit or computerial circuits and sequential circuits okay and before that we will uh, we'll learn about the logic gates okay and we learn how to minimize build expression mainly k map technique and how to minimize a circuit and once and once we learn this one then we'll design different kind of logics okay uh, which have a memory and which do not have memory that that's it that is your syllabus so it will take around 22 to 25 hours class okay so let us start So the first thing is your number system. So number system, okay. So here basically uh, we are going to discuss positional number system. Okay. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of positional number system? It will be clear within a minute. Okay. So there are some non-positional number system also like a Roman number system. No? You use a Roman number system, but Roman number system don't, do not have a zero. So that kind of uh, uh, number system we generally don't use for uh, program, uh, programming. Okay. So the number systems, which are positional number system. Okay. We are going to discuss the num number one is your decimal number system. Then second is your binary number system. Third is your octal number system. And fourth is your hexadecimal number system. Now all you are aware about this number system. Okay. Kabhi nika bhi to padai hoga isko. So what is decimal number system? Decimal number system has base 10. And it uses digits from 0 to 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now you see it uses 10 digit. Okay. That's why it is called base 10 number. Okay. So base always should be positive. Okay. I will write base by B. This is base by B. And B value should be always greater than 1. Okay, B should be positive and B should be always greater than one. B value cannot be less than one. Or you can better do right. B should be greater than one positive value. And any number system, the base, the digit, what it is using, we are, we are using for our calculations. Okay, these digit, these digits should be less than your base. Okay, that means base 10 cannot contain uh, a digit which is 10. So all the digit will be less than 10 only. So base is the highest, highest digit in particular given number system. For example, if I say my binary number system, binary number system has a base two, but it, it has a two digit and that is zero and one and zero and one both are less than two. Okay. So somewhere suppose some number is given to you one, two, three, four, and say it is base is three. This, this is wrong. This, this you cannot write here. Because base is the highest number in any number system. If what, whenever you are com combining them, number is what basically combination of digits. So when, whenever you are making a number that that number cannot have a digit higher than the base. Okay. Like here, your digits can be only zero one. You cannot use two here. Your digit can be only zero five, six, seven. You cannot use uh, this 10. 
The next is your octal number system, which has a base eight. Okay, so base eight it has numbers is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the next is your hexadecimal number system, which has base sixteen, and the number it uses zero, one, two. Three up to nine. Okay, up to nine. Remaining, if I want to write eleven, I'll use A, B, ten, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. So it has sixteen digits. These are these are ten digits. Eleven is ten. Uh, A is ten. This is eleven. C is twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. This is thirteen. And this is the fourteen, and this is fifteen. So like that, you represent numbers in hexadecimal number system. Okay. Now the question is, why I call them positional number system? Okay. So let us discuss that one. So, like decimal number system has a base ten. Two. So when I say positional number system, so that means every in number, every position has some weight. <clears throat> For example, if I want to write a number, number is what? Number has two part. If I want to write number, number has two part. One is integer part, and that is that second is decimal part or fractional part. Fractional part. So, for example, if I want to write a number, how do I write number? Okay. So, if I want to write a number, so I can write number. It has an integer part. Okay. And then decimal, and this is the fractional part or decimal part. Okay. Now any number can be written like this. If I write here, say this is my a zero, a one, a two, a three, so on, up to a power n minus one. Similarly, here I can write say a power minus one, a power minus two, a power minus three, and so on, up to a power minus m. So this is my Decimal, decimal, decimal part, and this is my integer part. Now, why I put this power here? Now, each this position has some weight. This is the zeroth position. This is the first position, second position, third position, and minus one position. A, a, a minus one position, minus two position, minus three position, minus minus m position. Now, for example, if I write a decimal number system, say, give me, I'll give you an example, say, write anything, anything, just to write anything, say, say, four two eight five point two five four two. Okay, this is my number. Now, this is the decimal part. I'll call now if I want to write this in power of ten, so that each position has some weight. Okay, for example, this is my zeroth position, so this is a part power um, weight ten to the power zero. This is a first position ten power one. This is ten power two, and this has a part, uh, position third, so up to n minus one. So one two three four that is n minus one, ten to the power uh, three. Similarly, this has the weight ten to the power minus one, ten to the power minus two, ten to the power minus three, ten to the power minus four. So, if you ask me, write this number in the form of ten power. So, I can write four into ten, four thousand plus two hundred. Okay, plus eighty, ten power one, plus five. Five is ten power zero. Similarly, I can write this 
2 as 2 into 10 to the power minus 1, 2 by 10 plus 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 plus 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 plus 2 into 10 to the power minus 4. So every number can be expressed in the form of its base power. Okay. That means like in decimal number system, the weight, each position has some weight. This position has a one weight. This position has a 10 weight. This position has a hundred weight. This position is a thousand weight. Okay. And the bit, okay. The digit, which is the leftmost is called MSD. Most significant digit, particularly in this number, the most significant digit is four because it has the highest weight. Its weight is the most important. That is the MSD called MSD. Similarly, the right rightmost digit is called LSD, least significant digit. Okay, so MSD is what most significant digit. And LSD, LSD means least significant digit. Okay. So let me discuss other number systems also. So you should remember the position weight. Okay. Now suppose if I have a binary number system. Okay. Say I have a number say one, one, say zero, say zero, zero, one. And then I have one, 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 zero. Okay. And this number is written in a binary number system. Now, it has, it has the base 2. Now, what is the meaning of base 2? That every position has some weight in the in terms of power of base. Okay. So, this has a power 2 power. This has a value 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3, 2 power 4, 2 power 5. This has a weight. Okay. So, 2 power 5 means 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and this is a 1. Similarly, these power, these, these also have weight 2 power minus 1, that is 0 0.5. Okay, I'm writing also here. Some number you should remember. 2 power minus 4, uh, 2. 1 by 4, that is 0 0.25. Then you have 2 power minus 3, 1 by 8. 1 by 8 is generally 0 0.125. And then this, this has a weight as 2 power minus 4. 2 power mi minus 4 means 1 by 16 and 1 by 16 is point, uh, point 0 0.0625. Okay. So here this position, this is a weight 1, this, 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 this position is a weight 2, this position is a weight 4, this position is a weight 8, this is a 16, this is a 32 and you can keep on going. Okay. In the terms of power. Now this number also can be represented in the base form and when you represent in the in you multiply this each digit by is its weight then the number will come equivalent to its decimal number okay for example if i want to convert this number into decimal number system what should i do so 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so i have a number 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 i want to convert into the decimal number so I'll write position one, two power five, position one, two power four, zero, position power two by three. So zero, we, you don't require because it becomes zero. Similarly, you don't require zero power uh, four also. You don't require this also. You don't require this also. So you require only one. So one into two power zero. Okay. So two power three is not will come to power two not come because it's multiplied by digit zero and two power one will not come Two power zero will come. Similarly, you can add now 
this is 2 power minus 1 so 1 into 2 power minus 1 that is 0 0.5 plus 1 into 2 power minus uh, 2 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 okay then 1 1 into 1 by 8 1 by 8 is 0 0.125 okay and then last is 4 that is 0 that will not come tell me what is the answer Kitna hai? So this is your 32, 16, this is 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and plus 0 0.125. 49 how much 50 59.875 this is this is 48 and 1 49 49.875 49.875 okay so this is the decimal equivalent of this number now it is very easy okay if you have been given any number system and you want to convert this into decimal number system, you just have to multiply those digit by its weight. Okay, so if I want to complete decimal to decimal is easy, you just write in the 10 power 10, you have to convert binary to decimal, just multiply each digit by its weight. Now suppose you have been given a octal number system. Okay, so octal number system will have a position weight. Okay, any number is given in octal. Okay, it have weight in terms of power eight, its base. For example, say I have a number say six three zero point four, and this is in the written in the form of octal. Okay, I want to convert the decimal decimal equivalent of this number. Let us calculate the decimal equivalent of this number. How can we cal calculate? So again, we have a number 630.4. Okay. Octal number system, this has 8 power 0, 8 power 1, 8 power 2, this is 64, this is 8, this is 1. Okay, point and and this position is the weight 8 power minus 1. 8 power minus 1 is what? 0.125 if I am correct. Okay. Now you want to write this number which is or let it be here right here into decimal then you write 6 into 8 power 2 that is 62 let me write 8 power 2 3 8 power 1 plus 0 8 power 0 and uh, plus 4 into 8 power minus 1, 1 by 8, you can write, okay. So this become, multiply, tell me how much will come. 6 into 64 plus 3 into 24, this is 0 and this is 1 by 2, 0 0.5. How much is coming? 408.5. So this is 408.5 decimal equivalent so as you can okay the base will be given and you want to convert decimal just multiply by the base i'll give you one more example for excel decimal number system okay let me give you a hexadecimal number system so say i have a number 5 c Seven, okay. Five six five C seven. This is in hexadecimal, and I want to convert into decimal. Okay, so we don't have a fractional part, so only we have integer part. So this will be sixteen power zero, sixteen power one, and sixteen power two. Okay, so five into this one. 16 power 2 plus 
c into 16 power 1 and plus 7 into 16 power 0 5 16 to 16 256 c is what c kitna hota c is 12 12 a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 12 into 16 plus 7 16 power 0 is 1 okay tell me kitna aega? I'll multiply, okay? 30, 30. How much? 1479. 1479, correct. 1479 in decimal. So, one conversion is very easy, okay? If you have given any number system and you want to convert to into decimal, you can do it very easily, okay? Uh, just multiply each digit by its weight. That's why it is called positional number system. And now I'll give you one homework. That is, you, you do it in your home. Okay. A, 0, F, 9, 0, E, B. Okay. This is hexadecimal. You want to convert in decimal. So number should come. I'm just putting value. Okay. It may not be correct. Okay. You just check it and tell me. If it's right or wrong tomorrow, okay. Some seven three. So is this O E B or zero E B? A O. A A zero. You put zero. A zero. Okay. A A zero. O to hota hi nahi na. O is not there. A zero F nine and this is O E B. This is O E B. G O cannot be there. Zero zero E B. Zero EB. Okay. Three point zero is zero. Huh? Left hand side. Yola. Yes, sir. Zero zero EB. Zero auto bold and hotain here. A, B, C, D, E, F only. Okay. So sir, this is. We can look at the base 10 or the base 16. Consola. Right side. Three decimal yes, convert. Yes, sixteen. Hai. Isko aapko ten convert Okay, okay, okay. Kar rahe hai, se, waise hi karna hai. Okay. So abhi kya hai? Humne, we have learned that positional number system. So position se humko weight nikalna aa gaya. Kisi bhi number system ka weight nikalna aa gaya. Ab zaruri nahi hai ki जो आपका बेस है वो दो ही हो दस ही हो आठ ही हो सिक्सटीन हो ओके दीज आर द कोड्स विच जनरली यूज इन कंप्यूटर बिकॉज इट है सम एडवांटेज ओके बट इन जनरल यू कैन हैव एनी बेस ओके एनी बेस का मतलब क्या है कि प्रॉब्लम्स अगर प्रॉब्लम्स बनानी है एग्जाम में तो एग्जाम को जरूरी नहीं है कि वो 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 टू फोर एट सिक्सटीन दे वो कुछ भी कुछ भी बेस दे सकता है एनी एनी बेस कैन बी गिवन ओके थ्रो दस वी डू सम प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ Only you should understand the conversion, how to convert. Okay. So let us do one problem. So you have 135 X plus 144 X. Okay. Equal to 323 X. Okay. The so question we put right what is the base option find the find the base x options are given a0 b5 c6 and d12 so up keep in the base care so 135 135 how can i write 135 can be written as a x power 0 x power 1 x power 2 so 1 into x power 2 3 into x power 1 and 5 into x power 0. Similarly, if I want to write 140, so similarly you can write like this. So this is my 
x square plus 3x plus 5x power 0, x power 0 is no, 1, plus similarly I can write here x square 4x and 4 is equal to 3x square plus 2x plus 3. Can I write like this? If you have any problem, please tell me if you learn this one. Now, if you solve this one, tell me what is the value of x. So x square, x square, two x square, here three x square, so we'll have only x square, okay? Three x plus four x, seven x, here you have two x, so minus five x, I'm, I'm rearranging this one. Five plus four, nine, three, so minus six equals to zero, okay? So how can I write, tell me? Kya, isko solve karne pe kya aega, batao? Minus one plus minus, six. Minus one plus six, okay? So if you solve this one, this will come x plus one and x minus six. Check it, correct or correct or not? So if it is correct, tell me. Okay, how can you write minus five x? So you can write x square minus six x plus x minus six equals to zero so x minus six okay plus one common x minus six so you have if you solve this one you have a x is equal to six and equal to minus one so what is the option correct option tell me six or minus c. one six c. C. okay c because your base cannot be negative okay so base can be not be negative that means this is not a uh, one is one you have to leave so one is one is no use Say you have 16, 10 and you have a 100 B. Okay. Tell me what is the value of B? Find B. B get now. Okay. Four. Four, huh? So he this is already power ten. So this is ten power zero, ten power one. So this is so this all this in ten powers. So I can write sixteen. Now this you have to bring in, ten, uh, in 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 the decimal number system. So you can write what you can write. This is a zero one two b square zero. Everything is zero. So b will be your four. So four is the answer. Okay. Let me give you one more question. This problem two, problem three is say, okay, this is your homework. 41 by three B and say 13 B. Okay, this is your homework. I'm giving you answer also, you can check it. Answer I have B equal to eight. You can check it later. So, so you have a 13 base square. B. B. 41 by 3 का base भी B है, इसका base भी B है, आपको B निकालना है, आंसर दे दिया मैंने आपको, आप करके देखना है बागर, okay, okay. now I, I have one problem, okay, so this problem came in gate exam, not your physics, it came in gate engineering, so gate EC, electronic and communication, you have 43, x and y3 8 okay so question ne pucha hai what are the possible solution of this equations is 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 equation k what are the possible solution okay of given equation 43 hai 43 hai aur ye y3 hai ye y3 hai 
Okay. What are the possible solution of above equation? कितने सोल्यूशन होंगे एक्स वाई के सोल्व करने पर एक्स और वाई की वैल्यू आएगी एक्स इज टू टू एक्स इज टू टू और सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थिंग ओके मैंने आपको जो रूल बताया वो याद रखना जरूरी है दैट द रूल नंबर वन इज देयर दैट योर बेस इज ऑलवेज ग्रेटर देन दिस डिजिट्स ओके सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इज नॉट पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशन ओके सो यू आर बाय सीइंग यू दिस यू कैन यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई सो हियर इफ आई सी दिस इज द बेस एक्स सो ऑब्वियसली माई बेस एक्स इज ग्रेटर एटलीस्ट ग्रेटर देन फोर सो यू कैन पुट इट हियर माई गे माई बेस एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन फोर सिमिलरली हियर y थ्री एट ओके सो माई वाई दिस वाई शुड बी लेस देन वॉट लेस देन एट शुड बी दिस नंबर शुड बी लेस देन द बेस सो दिस टू कंडीशन आई गॉट नाउ आई कैन सॉल्व दिस वन ओके नाउ यू कैन यू कैन कन्वर्ट इन डेसीमल सो दिस बिकम फोर एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स पावर जीरो दिस इज यू टू एक्सपांड एट पावर एट पावर ओके So this is eight power one, so it becomes eight y, and this is eight power zero, so this is three. Okay, so three three cancel. You have four x equal to eight y, and you have x equal to two y. Okay, x equal to two y. Now let us start. My x cannot x should be greater than four, y should be less than eight. Okay, solve and tell me what are the possible solution. So x I can take what. I can take x is equal to four. I cannot take. कितना लूँ? X कितना लूँ? या y से start करो. Y y से start करते हैं ना y से. So say if I say uh, y equal to y can be less than eight. So can I take y equal to one? If I take y equal to one, my x will be what? Two, which is not possible. I cannot take. X is equal to six. हाँ, y equal to two can I take y equal to two yes sir no if I take y equal to x equal to four so my x should be greater than four three 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 so this I cannot take okay so the correct solution is what I can take y equal to three if y can be anything from what it should be less than eight only it can be anything from zero to seven okay so what I am using now zero I cannot take y zero also I cannot take because this become x zero This also I can take. This y equal three can take three x equal to six. I can take y equal to six is greater than four. So I have no issue. Y equal to four I can take x equal to eight. Y equal to five I can take x equal to ten. Y equal to six I can take x equal to twelve. Y equal to I can go up to seven only. Seven x equal to fourteen. Okay. So from here. Y can go okay. Y can go from zero to zero to seven only. Okay. X has no x s can be anything. X has a no boundary. Okay. But now so this three to seven over, na sir. क्या? Y. वो हाँ मतलब ये तो impossible नहीं है पर यहाँ इसमें तो y कुछ भी हो सकता है ना अच्छा आप solution निकाल लिया आपने तो you can say three to seven correct. So y can go only three to seven. So you have only this five solution. We यहाँ से पहले देख के देखने से तो हम तो लगता है ना zero to seven कुछ भी हो सकता है. Then we have tried that one and finally we have arrived that it can be from three to seven only. So this how many? So total total five solutions are possible of this equation. सर ये वाला क्वेश्चन समझाने की कि कि एक ये वाई 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 Yes, sir. That's why these are the five solutions of this equation.
तो सर जो 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 वाई है वो हमारा फाइव से ज्यादा क्यों नहीं हो सकता अगर फुट करोगे तो क्या वाई कहा लिखा लिखा ना सिक्स लिखा ना सिक्स लिखा सेवन लिखा एट नहीं हो सकता ओके सर ये क्योंकि बेस है ना ओके सर दिस वाई कैन नॉट बी ग्रेटर देन एट I'll do one more problem and then we'll take five minute break. So one, two, three. Say base five, x eight, base y. Okay. Find the possible solutions of this equation. Again. You have to first write, and you have to see the condition here. Here, y is the base. Okay, so obviously your x is less than y. Okay, what are what is the other other condition? What is the other condition? Y is greater than eight. Y should be greater than eight. Very good. Okay, now you you multiply five power zero, five power one, five power two. So one into five power two. Two into five power one, three into five power zero. This is base x x by power zero by power one. So x by power one eight by power zero. So this become twenty five plus ten plus three. This is your x y plus eight. Correct. So how much coming? This is thirty eight. X y plus eight, so x y is thirty. Okay. Now tell me the solution. Y should be greater than eight. Okay. And x should be less than y. So let us say x equal to one. Can I take x equal to one? If I take x equal to one, my y is coming thirty. So okay, I no issue. X x is less than y, and y is greater than eight. Okay. If I take x equal to two, my y will be fifteen. This is also all right because my x is less than y and y is greater than eight. X is equal to three, y equal to ten. This is also fine. Okay. If four, I can I take x equal to four? Then y equal to what? No sir. Seven point five. This I cannot take. This is this is not integer first. Even if I take x equal to five, y equal to six, that also I cannot take because y should be greater than eight only. So this equation has only three. three. Huh? Three y की value eight से greater कैसे होगी? एक बार बताइए. Y की value eight से ये base है ना? Base हमेशा digits से ज़्यादा होता है. Base is always greater than. Yes digits. sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Oh. Hmm. So, so now time is six uh, thirty-two in my computer watch. Okay, so we'll meet meet after five minutes. Okay, so we'll meet at say six thirty-seven. Okay, five minute five minute break. You can have water. टाइम अभी दो मिनट बचे हैं
if two minutes or more. So it starts exactly at thirty thirty seven. So whatever we have done so far, if you have any confusion, any doubt, you can ask. Okay. Say recording. Hmm. Now we learn the conversion. Okay. How to convert. Okay. Already we know how to convert any number system to decimal, just multiply by base. Now, suppose I want to convert decimal to binary or decimal to octal or decimal to uh, hexadecimal or octa to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octa. Okay. How to do this one? So, first is conversion decimal to, I'll go from decimal to decimal to binary decimal to octal and decimal to hexadecimal. How can so first we'll learn this one and then we'll see interconversion of these among them among themselves. Okay. So first is decimal to binary. Decimal to binary okay if you have a number which has a only which which has only integer okay for example if i have want to convert 52 which is in decimal i want to convert this number into binary okay or i want to convert this number into octa or i want to convert this number into hexadecimal okay if it is the integer part the method remains the same. You have to use successive division method. Successive division method. Okay. Now what is successive division method? For example, you have 52. You continuously divide this by two and note down the remainder. Okay. So if you multiply this become 26 remainder will be zero. If you divide by two, it will give you 13 remainder is zero. If you divide here, it will go six times. You get remainder one. Again, you divide by two, you get three. You have a remainder zero. Again, you divide by two, it will go one time. You have a remainder one. Again, if you divide by two, okay, the remainder will be zero. Remainder will be one, we'll go to zero time and remainder will be one. Okay. Now what you can do. So this is now you can start from the bottom and start writing like this. So if you want to convert say 52 into 10. So this is, will be, this will be your MSD and this will be your LSD. So start with the MSD. Okay. So you will get what you will get here. One, one, zero, one, zero, zero. This is equivalent binary number. Okay. If you want to convert it back into decimal, you can multiply by the base two power zero, two power one, two power two, four, four, two power uh, three, four, 16, five, 32. So 16 and 32, 48. 48 and 4 again come back to 52. So this is the correct. Okay. So you have to do success, successive division method. Now if same this 52, if it has a some decimal part also. 
so for example say i have a number i'm using the same numbers because it's only calculations okay so 0 0.85 this is a decimal fractional part and i want to convert this fractional part into the binary okay so for fractional part i will use successive multiplication method successive multiplication method okay what is successive multiplication method you continuously multiply multiply by 2 so 0 0.85 you multiply by 2 okay and you have to note down the integral part okay so if I multiply 0 0.85 by 2, how much will come? 1.7. Okay. You note down 1 and fractional part, you again multiply by 2. 1.4 to 1, you got 0 0.4. Again 2, you got how much? 0 0.8. 0 0.8 fraction integer part is 0. You multiply 0 0.8. 2, again you get 1.6. You have 1. Okay, you got 0 0.6 again multiplied by 2, you got 1.2. Okay, you put on 1. Now, how long you can keep on going? Okay, so you have to stop somewhere, but that is your choice. Like in a normal division, okay, uh, after decimal, okay, we, we, we divide by up to two places, three places, four places, or until it is not repeating again and again. That is your choice. The more the, more the times you write, more the uh, accuracy you'll get and now depending on the exam and your answer is given up to how much uh, digit after decimal accordingly you can keep on multiplying I will multiply one, one time more 0 0.2 you got 0 0.4 so you can write 0 okay so here you started from the bottom bottom was your MSD this is your LSD here it's opposite this is your MSD your decimal this is your MSD and this is your LSD okay so you have to start from here so this will be decim decimal and then you have a 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay you can write like this you can stop here point one one zero also you can stop here also so this way you can convert now if i want to write say 52.5 in in binary so what i'll do i'll write one one zero one zero zero point one one zero one one zero this is equivalent you can do back cal back calculations okay you can check it whether it is a correct or right or wrong multiplication ले रहे हैं? 0 0.85 into 2, 0 0.7 ये वाला एक बार बता हाँ जैसे वो सक्सेस से डिवीजन है यहाँ पे क्या है यू डिवाइडिंग ओके अब ये जो जो भी फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट है उसको दो से मल्टीप्लाई करना है तो कितना आया 1.7 आया तो इसका जो इंटीजर पार्ट है इंटीजर ये वाला इंटीजर पार्ट है इसको अलग से रख लिया बचा क्या I'll do one more problem. Okay, then you understand. Now you please try yourself. Okay, you have 24.6 and decimal and you want to convert this number into binary. Karo. You can, agar aapka practice ho jai to aap directly le sakte ho na. You know how to write in base, okay? So you can, if you want, you can write directly write, write, write or you can write uh, this is division method. Suppose if I want to write directly, so how can I write uh, 24? So I know that by number is only in power of two. So here I want 16. I can break this in 16, 8. How much? 16, 8 is what? 24. 
Okay, so this I can write how much? I can write one, two power four, and this is two power three. So this I can write one one zero zero. Okay, uh, power four chain, so it is zero. So if this is zero 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 one two three two power three is eight. Okay, eight. And then two power four for sixteen. So this is this is this is twenty four. Okay. Or if you don't understand like this, you can uh, do successive division method. You have twenty four divided by two. Okay. Remainder twelve zero. Again six zero. Three zero. And if you multiply by here, okay, one time you get one here. Two, you got zero time and you get one here. Okay. You write here. So how much? One one zero 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 one one zero zero zero. So if you have a practice, you can directly write because you know, na this is this I can break like this, and this is what two power four four and two power three. So you write a number, you place the one at two power beyond uh, below two power four. You place the number one at two power three. Remaining powers are not there, so all will be zero zero. So simply you can write. Is the method clear? Or you do like this, whatever you want. Okay. Now you have a zero point six two five. Multiply by two. कितना आएगा बताओ? Point one zero one. Zero point six two five one point two five. If you multiply by two, one point two five. Okay, your integral part is your one. Again, zero point two five multiplied by two. You had zero point five. Integral part is zero. Zero point five into two, one point zero. Integral part is one. Nothing remaining is zero, so you have to stop here. So this is your uh, uh, decimal part. Okay, so this will be your one one zero 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 decimal point six two five is. You have to write start from the Top okay one zero one is your answer. I'll give one more problem. So I should I think method is clear, very simple. It's, it's clear to you. Okay. So abhi I am I have to I have to convert this by binary. So I'm dividing by two. If I want to convert in octal, I have to divide by eight. If I want to convert in sixteen, I have to divide by sixteen. Similarly, decimal part you have to multiply by eight. If I want to convert in octal, okay. So let us do one more one more one or two problem more. Okay, question number four. So decimal I'm giving you homework. Okay, uh, you try one one problem this one. This is your homework. Seventy-two point two five. Okay, this is decimal. You have to convert in the binary. So I am putting answer also. You can check. So tell me. So one zero zero point zero one zero. Okay. अब वो गलत हो सकता है या कुछ try करना है खुद देख के बताना मुझे. आसान तरीका सो सिमिलरली इफ आई वॉन्ट टू मेक राउ कन्वर्जन फ्रॉम डेसिमल टू ऑक्टल ओके सो यू हैव टू थर्टी फोर इन डेसिमल आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट दिस नंबर इन टू ऑक्टल ओके करो कैसे करेंगे तो यू हैव टू डिवाइड दिस नंबर बाय एट ओके एंड यू हैव टू नोट डाउन द रिमाइंडर टू थर्टी फोर कितने हो जाएगा बताओ How many times will go? Two times, sixteen, seven, then nine. Nine time. Yes, sir. Nine time. And remainder is what? How much? Two. Two. Okay. Again, divide by eight. 
3 time remainder is 5 again divide by 3 0 time remainder is 3 okay so this will be equal to your 3 5 2 and you can check again if you have doubt 3 into 8 power 2 plus 5 into 8 power 1 plus 2 into 8 power 0 okay so this you can multiply you should come through 234 It is the same similar things okay okay let us do one decimal decimal uh, one octal also so this is your homework two nine eight eight point seven five ten you want to convert in the octal okay so this will come five six five four point five four it will be octal, okay? This you can try at home. Successive multiplication by 8, okay? For decimal part, successive multiplication for integer part, successive division. Now I should not repeat this thing again and again, okay? You should, you should understand this thing. If you still have a doubt, you can, you can ask me again. So, similarly, decimal to hexadecimal decimal to hexadecimal okay so say I have a number 2598.6875 okay sorry this we have already done 25 okay okay this convert this in six uh, hexadecimal that much So, you have number, first integer part, 2598, okay, now 16, okay, please help me, okay, what to do, how many time will come, tell me, 1, okay, 9, 6, correct? Sir, 2. 2, remainder is how much? Six remainder, 6, sir. Sure, six. Okay, six. six. Again, tell me. Kitana see here. How many times? Nine, nine times. How much? One time will go. Two times. Kitana, I got sixteen. One time. Okay. Then ten times the amount two. Ten times the two. Very good. Then sixteen. Turn to zero time and remainder. Remainder ten. Ten. Okay. Ten is what? In a successor decimal A two six. So I write like this. This become A two six. Okay. Now convert fractional part. So fractional part is. 0 0.6875 okay you have to multiply by 16 and you have to note down the integer part okay tell me the answer 11 10 hmm? 11 will go 10 10 will come tell me how much 11 11 11 11 yeah, year 11, huh? I'll put multiple number. The result is 11. Yes, sir, total 11. Are. Total 11. Yeah, yes, sir, 11. Are. Yes, sir, yes, sir. 11 is going to be 11. So, what is the integer? 11 is the integer. 11 is the integer. 11 is the integer. 11 is the integer. B. B. Okay. Then 0. So, only B will come. 0. 0.67 points. No, कुछ mistake कर रहे हो तुम लोग. Point six eight seven five sixteen से multiply करने पे क्या आ रहा है? पास answer जो है उसमें. Okay, okay, ठीक है. Okay, सही है. So, yes, split B. That is only, only that is that's it. 
okay now suppose you have the so same number decimal is you have a point zero point six seven five instead of this one if it was zero point six seven five then tell me what is the answer will come if instead of this one the number is two five nine eight point six seven five okay decimal now octal will be a to six same here what should i write tell me i have answer a c c tell me whether it's correct or right or wrong Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm, yes, sir. Okay. Take question exam. I thought simple. Tha. Yes, I'll write that one. अच्छा ऑक्टल टू हेक्सल अभी हमने किया ही ना ओके नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट नेक्स्ट इज आवर कन्वर्जन सो वी नो हाउ टू कन्वर्ट एवरी नंबर इनटू डेसिमल एंड फ्रॉम डेसिमल टू एवरी नंबर सिस्टम आल्सो आई कैन गो नाउ फ्रॉम फ्रॉम बाइनरी टू ऑक्टल बाइनरी टू ऑक्टल और ऑक्टल टू बाइनरी हाउ टू गो इट इज वेरी इजी नाउ सो You have octal number system. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this octal number system. For each digit of octal, you have to write a binary equivalent. Okay, in three, three digit form. So you write binary equivalent. So zero means zero zero zero. You have to write in three digit form. That's it. One means in binary zero zero one. This number you have to convert in binary, like you do decimal. Okay. Two means two is zero one zero. Two power zero two power one two three zero one one two power zero one two power one plus three. So because it becomes three is equal to three. Four one zero zero five is equal to one zero one six is equal to one one zero seven is equal to one one one. So only you have to remember the equivalent number, and then rest is very easy. Suppose you want to go from the binary to octal, so you have a number one zero one zero one point one zero one one. Okay. Now you want to convert in the octal, and you know the three digit will form one equivalent decimal number. So from starting from the decimal, you start making the pairs of three. Now say suppose here you have only two digit, so in the left part you can always put zero because if you put zero here, this will be multiplied by some weight, and that will be zero. So putting zero here will not affect our number. So now this become my grouping. Similarly, you can start making pair from the left of left of the decimal in the pair of three. Three here zero is not there. So you can put two zeros here. If you put zero here, nothing will happen. Okay, the weight will uh, the number will not change. Now you just you replace zero one zero is what two one zero one is what five one zero one is again five and one zero zero is four. That means this number is equal to twenty five point five four in octal number system. Okay, and the reverse also true. If suppose this number is given and you want to go to the binary, just put the equivalent number value here. Two is this one, five is this one, five is this one. So octal to binary, binary to octal is very easy. Very easy. I'll do one more problem.
say I have a number say one one we'll put it anything but one one zero one one zero zero triple one triple one zero zero point one zero one 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 zero zero one one zero this is binary I want to convert in doctor but how can I go okay so yeah there, there are three ones okay yeah three ones so again you have a number you have a number one zero one 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 zero zero date one zero one 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 zero zero one zero make it pair disappear disappear no zero disappear 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 okay so this is what this is the one sir one, one three three four, four, four one five five, five, five six, six, two. Six, six two very good so this doctor so this way you can go opposite also okay you can go in Octal to binary also in reverse. Okay. For example, let us take one, one question. Do we have any actual number question behind? Okay. Say anything. Say seven, I can use in octal number seven, three, five in octal number system. Okay. I want to go into binary okay so seven three five seven will be replaced by triple one three will be replaced by zero one five will be replaced by one zero one okay so this become one 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 zero one 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 zero one in binary Now similarly, if I want to go binary to hexadecimal, that's also say, same same manner, hexadecimal and hexadecimal to binary. Okay. The process remain the same. Only now you have to change this binary equivalent. Okay. You have to change this binary equivalent by four digit four digit compact form. Okay. So this will be zero zero zero. This will be your 0, 0, 001, 2 will be your 0, 0, 0010, 0. put extra 0 here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, if you want to, for in, you have 8 also. Okay. In hexadecimal, hexa. So you have 8 also. So 8 become what? 1, 0, 0, 0. Because there, there you have only up to seven, and so seven can be represented by three numbers. Okay, three digit. But once eight comes, you need four binary numbers. Okay, so that's why you you need at least four uh, in order to convert digit to hexadecimal. You need four uh, digit to binary. Okay, four digit binary form. Okay, now suppose you have nine hexa nine ten eleven. 11th and 10, uh, 9 about 10 to Haini. You have A, you have B, you have C, you have D, you have E, you have F. Okay. And you want to convert. So binary equivalent. So binary equivalent kya ho jayega? 9 ka equivalent kya ho jayega? binary batao. 1, 0, 0, 1. Because this is already 8. If I make this 1, 2 power 3, 2 power one so one plus eight nine if i want ten this one will come here zero one zero this is ten because this is the eight plus two now i want eleven so one zero this is ten i have to add one here this become eleven okay one two power zero one two power two one two three and eight eleven twelve twelve means i i want eight plus four so here should be one here should be one Two power two power three two power two others should be zero so one one zero zero now I want thirteen so one one zero one I want fourteen fourteen is what 
एट प्लस फोर प्लस टू टू पावर वन टू पावर टू टू पावर थ्री सो वन 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 जीरो एंड फाइव मीन्स फिफ्टीन वन वन फाइव तो दीज आर इक्वल बाइनरी इक्वल now let us convert okay uh, i have some number say 9 af 9 af is in the hexadecimal and you want to convert in binary okay you want to convert into binary tell me for 9 what should i write 1 0 0 1 वेरी सिंपल ओके So I'll give you one number. You have to convert into hexadecimal. Is it rubbed? Karra hu main. So I have a number. Say one zero one 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 zero one zero. Zero one one zero one zero. Okay. Tell me the answer. If you convert this into the hexadecimal, what is the answer? Okay. So you have one zero one 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 zero one zero. Already pairs are there. So zero one one four and one. There are no pairs, so I can put two zero here. Okay. So this is my no. Ah, uh, this four. You have to put to zero. This already pair. This already pair. Okay. So this is what. Tell me. You get nine. C. C. Twelve. No, twelve. What is it? D. This is D. Sure. The B. B. Ah, yeah, B. Is B. B. Is B. Eleven. No. Huh? Eleven. Eight. Eleven. And this is what. A. A. Sir. A. Okay. And this is six. 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 And this is eight. 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 Okay. So B A point six eight. Okay. So this is the correct answer. So now last is your what? If I want to go octa to hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octa, then I should go through via via binary. Okay, so it become easy. So if if I want to go from octal to hexa decimal, I want to go decimal to octa. So I know how to go octa to binary. and i know how to do go to binary to hexadecimal so i can use this method for quick calculations okay for example i have a number 7348 into octa i want to go in hexa okay so 734 i will first go to the binary Binary me, I have to replace by three digits. Seven is what? One one one. Three is what? Three zero one one. Four is what? One zero zero. This become binary. And now again from binary to I will I have to go by 
four digit combination is ten to hexa one one here is not there so I can put three zero three zero okay so now this become one this is what twelve twelve and one thirteen one D C or D A is 10, B is uh, 11, D. D, and this is what, 12, this is 13, 12, this is C, so the answer will be 1 D C, so this answer is 1 D C. Have you understood this method? Tell me, or should I do one more problem? Okay, if you understood this problem, then let us calculate now again. I have say nine AF in 16. Okay, I want to convert this into octal. Tell me what is the answer. You do it and tell me. So for first you want octa, you have to go in binary. So nine is what? Five seven. Sir, answer is four six five seven. Okay, I'll check. Okay, answer to any. I'll check just. So nine yes, is one zero one. A is your ten one zero one zero. Okay, F is your fifteen one one one. Okay. One one. I'll make three three pair. Three pair, three pair. So this become your four. four this become six. Four, four, six. Then this has become five. Okay, and this and is your seven. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So okay, if you understand this one, okay, let us solve the last problem. So we have. See one one x one y okay is equal to one two three nine sixteen okay find the value of x and y find the values of x and y find out So what is the base? Here, base should be, I think base is here, uh, say eight. So here numbers are here we are XY here numbers are there. So I 
If I first will go, I'll go. Sir, off, start x equals to two and y equals to one. X equal to two, sir. No, check it again. So, इसको कनोट कर लेते हैं पहले. One, one क्या होगा? Zero, zero, one. Sir, x equal to three. Yes, x equal to three. Y equal to one. Yes. Y equal to one. Yes, zero, zero, one, zero. C is your cash. C कितना होता है? दस ग्यारह बारह. One, one, zero, zero. And nine is your one, zero, zero, one. Okay. So this become your uh, binary. And I'll take now pair of three. Pair of three means one, zero, zero. Then zero, zero, one. Then zero, one, one. Then zero, zero, one. And then. कुछ मिस्टेक हुआ क्या जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन 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 जीरो वन वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन एंड देन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो एंड देन दिस इज जीरो 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 ओके सो इट कम जीरो सो दिस कम फोर करेक्ट फाइव दिस वन कुछ मिस्टेक कर रहा हूँ क्या मैं पीए बनाने में मिस्टेक कर रहा हूँ क्या फर्स्ट इज जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो वन वन जीरो ओके सो वन वन थ्री सेवन शुड कम ना वन वन थ्री सेवन आई एम डूइंग सम मिस्टेक समवेयर ओके नाउ लेट अस मेक द पेयर्स तो फर्स्ट पेयर विल बी माय दिस जीरो जीरो वन ओके अगेन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो जीरो वन वन � then zero zero one okay and then zero zero one zero one अभी ठीक है okay so this is one one three seven क्यों आ रहा है यहाँ पे answer मैंने गलती कर कहा गया one ही है this is one and this is one okay so now one 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 x is three y is one x is three y is one Doctor, correct. Now, okay, just fi last final question. This question came in exam, so some exams. So I'm putting this one also. A to C, okay, into sixteen, convert into in octal. And that's the last problem. Tell me the answer. Other student also, some student who are not able to not replying. Okay, if you have real issue, then he, then you can ask me. Otherwise, if you have, everyone is comfortable, we will keep on moving. नेगेटिव नंबर इन इन दिस सिस्टम ओके कॉम्प्लीमेंट नंबर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर